lighting is currently changing, as you can see. Sunset. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Drew here from Lone Fox, and today's video is one that I've been wanting to do for a while, and I finally came up with enough ideas, so I'm doing it. I probably just scared you a little bit. Sorry about that. Today is a really cool video. It's going to be all about DIY closet organization because I really wanted to do a video for those of you that have like smaller closets and just let you maximize the storage space in your closets with some projects and like DIYs and hacks that I've come up with over the past couple of weeks. Because if you did not know, I moved from a pretty large closet to still a pretty large closet but definitely smaller in size do you like my reference here so I'm implementing a couple of these like storage solutions that I'm doing um, of course DIY super inexpensive and super 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 easy into this closet so that way you can maximize your storage space if you're not already make sure to subscribe to my channel to be part of the Lone Fox fam I post new videos every single week and they're all like home decor DIY DIY clothing just anything like you can do yourself basically and you can also follow my personal Instagram if you want it's at I'm Drew Scott I post like outfits and inspo on there as well so let's just get into the actual video so you thought that I was gonna get into the video, but gotcha, I'm not yet. Because the first thing before you need to create these DIY projects is to actually go through your clothing and get rid of things you don't need anymore. Like, if you're not wearing something and you haven't worn it for a couple of months, just go ahead and set it off to the side because we're gonna be selling those pieces on Poshmark. Which is today's sponsor. Thank you so much Poshmark for sponsoring today's video. I have been an avid user of Poshmark for like probably two years. If you go on my Poshmark account, which is linked below for you guys to take a look at, I have sold stuff a lot. Like you can go through, check the things I've sold. Like I've been on there for a long time. So way before the sponsorship even occurred. If you have not heard of Poshmark before, it is essentially a website and it's also a mobile app. I love using the mobile app. I think it's just so handy and convenient right at your fingertips that you can actually buy and sell clothing on. So I'll make sure to leave a link below right at the top of the description box for you guys to take a look at Poshmark. It's completely free to download and to use. So go ahead, click the link and you can download Poshmark. But it's really cool because if you have a lot of stuff that you don't wear anymore, um, things that you want to get rid of, you can just take photos of them and list them on your Poshmark account and then people can purchase it um, or offer you money for it and you guys can like accept it or decline it, whatever you want to do. And then my favorite, favorite, favorite part is that once an item sells for you, you actually get a shipping label to you. So all you have to do is put your item in an envelope put the shipping label on it and drop it in a box. Like you don't need to go stand in the line at the post office. You don't need to go make your own shipping label. That's my favorite thing about Poshmark and the reason I use it personally. And I've listed 10 items for you to go check out on my own personal Poshmark store, which is going to be linked below as well. And I'll put my Poshmark name on the screen for you guys. It's just at I'm Drew Scott. You can check out my closet and shop it if you would like to. And of course, as time goes on, I'll be listing more stuff. So you might as well follow me over on my Poshmark closet to see what I have to post over the next couple of months. So now that we've purged our stuff, we've listed it, we might get some money for it. Yes. Um, we are going to get into the actual organizational DIYs of this video. If you need to maximize the hanging space in your closet, you must do this. So I used some pliers, some chain and shower hook rings. So I started off by opening up my chain and I got this chain that Joann's Fabrics for just $3, you get a yard of it. And I made sure that my chain had really wide lengths. That way um, the hangers can actually fit through the links in the chain. And I decided to open up the ends of two parts just to give me a total of three 12 inch lengths of chain. You can use pliers or your fingers, whatever you wanna use. And then I slipped through three shower hook rings. I got these at Target, you get a pack of 12, I think, for $1.99. Super inexpensive. And the shower hook ring is essentially what's going to actually slip over your closet, like hanging rod. And then you're gonna have these chains. So, what you're gonna do is start with the bottom piece of clothing, hang it on a link of chain, and then cascade your clothing up. And this will maximize the amount of clothing you can hang on one rod. It's actually amazing. <laughs> Playing off our last DIY, I got these S hooks and attached them down the link of the chain. And this actually is going to create an accessory holder. So you can use this to hold some belts, some hats, some bags, whatever you want to do. But all I did was clip it on the rod and then you can hang all of your belts on there and you have a nice place to store your belts as well. This next DIY is probably my favorite. It did take some trial and error as you saw in the intro, but I used a copper pipe and some macrame cording. So just anything that's pretty strong and durable, this macrame cording is very strong. So what I did was I used my macrame cording to tie a knot around the end, and this is called a half hitch knot. Um, I learned it in Boy Scouts, so yeah, got you there. But all you do is wrap it around twice and then wrap it around the left side and then up through. And this is actually gonna create a super, super sturdy knot when you wrap it around anything, like typically you would do like a tree trunk or 
something like that if you're pitching a tent, you know? So um, again, wrap around twice. You just have to kind of follow what I do here. And I did this on either side of the rod. And by the way, this rod, guys, was only $7 at Home Depot. It was pre-cut, just like a scrap from someone that left it there. And what we're doing is creating a second hanging rod in our closet. So in my closet, I just have one really high hanging rod. And I wanted to create a second one underneath to maximize the storage space. So what I did was use my, my cording to tie it to the main rod. And once they're all tied up, you can cut the ends. Um, just tie a ton of knots, like just do trial and error, you know? Um, and then once you have it all completely tied up and good, you can start hanging your clothing on it. And if you get a really strong cording, um, you're gonna be totally fine. Like those intro clips that I basically failed in, um, I tied the knots on the sides completely different than how I just showed you guys. So I learned that this type of knot was definitely the best to use and it was much more durable and much more strong for the second hanging rod. This next project is super, super simple. All you're going to need is a hanger and some shower curtain rings. This black hanger is so chic. It's a metal one from Target and the shower curtain rings are also so inexpensive from Target as well. All you're gonna do is slip them on to your hanger and then hang all of your bags from it. So this is a great way to just be able to actually hang up a large selection of bags and have them right at your fingertips or you can hang it on the wall kind of like how I displayed it. So if you have a free space in your room, like this is a great decorative aspect um, or you can just hang it in your closet as well. This last project here is kind of just like a bonus project. So I use little organza bags and these downy unstoppables and they are basically scent boosters, but they're little scent pebbles essentially. So I put them inside of my organza bag, poured them in there, filled up the little organza bag I got at Joann's um, and you cinch them close. You can find these in the wedding section, by the way, and you can just throw them in your drawers and they make your clothing smell amazing. So guys, that was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you a little bit of inspo or some ideas on what to implement into your closet just to maximize the storage space. And if you're not already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. The link is below or the subscribe button's below wherever it is somewhere on the screen. Subscribe for free. Um, I post videos every single week and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Don't forget to also check out Poshmark. Again, the link is in the description box below so you can check them out and feel free to leave your own closet name in the description too. I'd love to check out your guys' closets as well. And I think that's about all for this one. Um, I love you so much and I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys.